Hello friend, in today's video we will learn how we can design a driver slip detection project by using Arduino and the camera. So you can see on the screen I have the Arduino with buzzer with LCD and LED. So before start the project explanation I would like to tell you what is the project flow. So you can see on the screen live, uh, live video we recorded. So whenever I close my eyes then buzzer will turn on and on the LCD you can see please wake up message and also at the same time LED will turn on. So when I open my eyes, then it automatically turn off the buzzer, it turn off the light and also on the LCD it will show uh, all ok drive safe. So this is the complete idea behind this project. So in this video we will learn how we can design this project completely, how we can develop the hardware part, also we can see how we can design the program. So this video may be 30 minutes but in this video definitely you will able to but by watching this video definitely you will able to create and develop this project by your own. So I request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project. Now we will see the practical demonstration of this project. Now you can see on the screen there is active that means driver is active. So when I close my eyes then buzzer will turn on and uh, message will present on the LCD please wake up. So uh, check on the LCD also side by side when I, uh, when I close my eyes. So you can see when I close my eyes the red LED will turn on and buzzer start ringing also on LCD please wake up message there. So once I open my eyes then buzzer will turn off and LED also turn off. Yeah so this is the complete idea behind this project. Now we will see how we, how we can design and develop the hardware part of this project. I request you please subscribe my channel currently you can see I have uploaded more video on the many video on Raspberry Pi Arduino then Python program then some uh, webinar so that uh, it can grow your career so if you want to learn something from me it is free and you have to just click on this subscribe button and all the video it is it is very unique and you will learn definitely many things from me I upload a mostly video on Raspberry Pi mostly video on IoT then Arduino there are different types of project I have explained and each project having the programming part so please subscribe my channel please support me and please enhance your knowledge by watching my video so now I am going to tell you how I created this circuit zero PC circuit by my own so first first of all whenever you buy the LCD on the Amazon you will get only this in LCD you have to create this circuit by your own on zero PCB or on breadboard. So you can see uh, the uh, similar connection uh, is here. So this is my main LCD you can see 16 by 2. So there are 16 pins on this LCD you can see 1 to 16. So first pin should be connected to ground directly uh, uh, ground and the, this is nothing, nothing but the 10k potentiometer. So you have to purchase 10k potentiometer you can see this is the potentiometer you have to purchase. Uh, this potentiometer or any type of poten potentiometer which having the 10k value. You can also purchase this one also or this one also. Any potentiometer, this one also. Basically each potentiometer having the 3 pins. You can see these 3 pins, these 3 pins. So uh, first pin is should be connected to the VCC of this potentiometer. Second pin is nothing but the middle one pin. You can see this one is middle one pin of potentiometer. So you can consider this one, this middle one pin of potentiometer or this middle one pin of this potentiometer. So connect the middle one pin to the VA pin and the third pin of this potentiometer should be connected to ground. That's why VCC also connected to ground. Then VS, 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 sorry, VSS is nothing but the ground pin of LCD that is the first pin. You can see this is my the ground pin of LCD. This is my VCC pin of LCD common ground and common VCC. And then you can see uh, till this part uh, all the pins are same so and this part is nothing but the controller pins you can replace any controller at this point so if you want to connect d4 pin d5 pin you can take it from this one this one this one this one and this is nothing but the this these three pins so and this register is nothing but the this one register 560 ohm register and this pin is a led negative pin that is 60 number is connected to ground directly so connected to ground here directly so this is connection I made by using this uh, circuit. So I hope you understand how I created this circuit. So once you can design uh, this circuit till this point you can see till this one uh, and uh, till this point. So you can directly connect any number of uh, LCD pin uh, any LCD pin to any controller and uh, this this represent the controller pin basically. 
so you can replace any controller at this point whenever you require raspberry pi also you can require arduino also you can just uh, do the plug and play you can just do the plug and play with this circuit uh, with this point so this is common vcc point this is common ground point and this one is your input point which reflect this uh, which reflect this uh, this pin basically okay if you don't want to make lcd circuit by yourself on the breadboard or on the zero pcb then you can also buy the ready made lcd uh, board you can see this is lcd board you can ready made buy so you can see all the connection all already there you have to just connect this five number ground pin rs enabled d4 d5 d6 and d7 pin as per my explanation so whenever i connect the d4 pin you can also connect this d4 pin to arduino same d5 same d6 and then d7 same rs and 11 so this ready made circuit you can buy from the amazon so you will easily find this circuit on the amazon when you type this one lcd lcd 16 by 2 display module and you will find this one so you can ready madely buy this circuit and just plug and play this connection so that is very easy then okay once you create this circuit on this zero pcb or on bed board now we will connect one by one pin to the arduino so first pin we have to connect is rs pin of lcd so this one so this one first one pin is rs pin of lcd and this should be connected to two number pin of arduino so you can see on arduino so you can see on arduino there is a pin number so we can easily connect that pin number as per the program so program explanation we will see later but first connect rs pin of lcd to two number pin of arduino so 0 1 and 2 now second pin is enable pin of lcd that is this one pin and this should be connected to three number pin of arduino so en enable pin should be connected to three number pin of arduino now the next part is d4 pin of lcd should be connected to four number pin of arduino so this is a d4 pin and this should be connected to four number pin of arduino then d5 pin should be connected to fifth num fifth number pin of arduino then d6 should be connected to six number pin of arduino so d6 pin of arduino and this should be connected to six number pin of arduino then d7 pin of arduino should be connected to seven number pin of arduino so d7 pin of lcd should be connected to seven number pin of arduino so we have connected one by one pin to the arduino so i will again repeat rs pin should be connected to two number pin of arduino enable pin of lcd should be connected to three number pin of arduino then d4 pin then d4 pin should be connected to four number pin of arduino then d5 pin should be connected to fifth number pin of arduino then d6 pin should be connected to six number pin of arduino and d7 pin should be connected to seven number pin of arduino so this is the common uh, this is the connection of lcd okay after you connect all the pins to the arduino now next part is you have to connect the vcc pin this is the vcc pin of lcd and this is the ground pin of lcd so connect the vcc pin of lcd to the vcc pin of arduino so you can see here is the vcc pin of arduino so on the arduino you can also observe there is a five number voltage given so connect that pin to the five number voltage okay now after that connect the ground pin of lcd so this is the ground pin of lcd and this should be connected to ground pin of arduino okay so in this way lcd with the arduino connection is completed okay once we connect the lcd with the arduino now next part is we have to connect this red led with the arduino so how to create this circuit i will explain on this page so how how i created this circuit so basically you can see led this is your led and led having the two pins first pin is positive and second pin is negative so positive pin you can identify when uh, the pin who are bigger that is positive and the pin who are smaller than the, this then that is the negative pin okay so you can connect the positive pin to the one register so this is a register this is 1k or you can take the 500 ohm register so one point of register should be connected to led positive pin and second point of register is nothing but your buck strip and here we can give the arduino input now the next pin is this is ground pin and you can connect this ground pin to the arduino ground 
so you can create this circuit so you can see i have created the same circuit so you can see this led so this is led you can imagine now next pass the register so this is the register then after that this this pin so after that this pin is nothing but the this pin this pin nothing but the this pin and this pin is nothing but the here this pin so you can connect you can create this uh, you can create this circuit on your breadboard or on your like uh, zero pcb so with this you can able to uh, create this led circuit part so i have already explained here so i have already explained here how to create this circuit this is your led okay now we will connect this led with the arduino so you can see led positive pin so this is my led positive pin should be connected to nine number pin of arduino okay then led negative pin this is negative pin of led should be connected to ground pin of arduino so here is the ground pin of arduino so you can see ground pin i have connected here okay this is very simple circuit now the next part is buzzer we have to connect so you can see this is buzzer whenever you buy the buzzer from the market there is two pin on the buzzer red and the green uh, blue pin so red pin is nothing but the positive pin of buzzer and blue is nothing but the ground pin so again very simple so positive pin of buzzer that is the red pin you can see this is red pin should be connected to eight number pin of arduino okay and again the ground pin should be connected to ground number pin of arduino so you, here you can see there is a ground of arduino so in this way we have completed the hardware part of our circuit so i, I hope you understand this part okay before start the programming explanation i would like to tell you very important thing and you have to listen this very carefully so to run this project you require import cv2 library then numpy library then dlib library then immutilis library then serial library so how to install cv2 library how to install the numpy library and how to install serial library that i have already explained in my this video face mask detection using raspberry pi with the proteus video so you have to watch this video in this video there is one chapter how to install the library so by using that chapter you need to install the cv2 numpy and serial library okay next part now next library you require is immutilis and dblib so how to install that library so that also i have already explained in my this video protease simulation of driver slip detection video so you have to again watch this second video so that you can install the db2 and immutilis library okay this is a very important point now the next point is while installing this library in my face mask detection video this video in my face mask detection video i have made one mistake and that i understood when i give uh, i receive many comments from the many student so in this video you can see i will open that video and on 8.28 time there is i am saying cd to change your project directly to the script folder so before executing any command you have to change your folder by using this cd this command but after many student uh like reply sir that is not working so there is one solution for this you do not need to move inside the script folder so what you have to do just open your cmd just open your cmd here only you can see system32 is my system name and here only you can try to install all the library by using that command so what command that i already explained in my all this video so let's say for example you can see this command pipe 3 install tensorflow so in this video i have first moved to the script folder but you do not need to use this command you just copy this you just open cmd and then type then, then type, type pipe, pipe 3 install, install tensorflow. tensorflow and then, and then type, type all the all command, command by one, by one. I, again, again repeat, repeat do not, do not jump, jump to the, to the script, script folder, folder. So, this so this is very, very important, important. Now, now the next, the next part, part is for the, for the some, pro, uh, some, some student, student this, this serial, serial library will not work, work because, because the python package newly updated python package 
will not, not work, work uh, do not do support, support this serial library. library. So, so what, what to do, do in, uh, for, for this serial, serial library? library. So, so there is there already, is already one, one solution given, given on, on the Google. Google. So, we, so we, I will I show, show you what, what the, solution. the solution. So you can see this error you, you will get import serial error in python so same error you will get you have to just search this on the internet and just go to this stack overflow so if you got that error then you can do this thing so you can see in the stack overflow it is clearly mentioned python does not support the serial package you need to install the py serial package so whatever command i use to install the serial instead of that you can use the pipe 3 install pi serial so you have to install pi serial package instead of serial then you can use the serial as it is so in the program you have to just replace the serial with the pi serial package this one like this one pi serial but when you get the serial error then and then only you can use the pi serial otherwise you can use serial now the next part is very important you can use python 3.7 python 3.8 do not use the python 3.9 uh, do not use the python 3.10 or python 3.11 because some library will not support python 3.11 or python 3.8 so i recommended you can use the python python 3.7 and python 3.6 so this is very clear description uh, this is very clear instruction before opening this project before running this project otherwise you will get many error so i will again so if you don't understand what i am saying just again watch this video uh, from just 5 to 10 minutes back and listen carefully what I am saying then you will understand ok so it is very important to watch these three video first video is protein simulation this one sleep detection second video is face mask detection and third video is protein simulation accident alcohol detection so in this video I have explained how to install the Arduino software in your laptop so you have to watch that video there is chapter in that video like how to install the software you have to follow that chapter and then and then we again come back to this project okay so this project the python serial for uh, programming it's already uh, the python face uh, python sleep detection program it's already explained in my this video sleep detection project so i will not explain this uh, program here now i will explain the arduino program the, because this is the new program okay so first line of Arduino program is liquid crystal dotage. So here you can see whenever you want to uh, whenever you want to use LCD in your project, then you require this library. Now the next line is liquid crystal LCD two three four five six. So we saw in hardware connection we have connected the LCD uh, pins that is RS enable D four D five D six pin to two three four five six seven number pin. Now the next is constant buzzer. We have connected the buzzer to eight number LED pin to nine number. So whatever pin we have used that already defined here now the slip state so basically uh, when the python program detect there is a slip condition then it will send the data to the arduino program so to detect to store that value we will use this slip state variable now next line is we are we are using the baud rate so de to define the baud rate in the arduino we will use this line serial beginning 9600 then pin mode buzzer pin output pin mode led pin output because Arduino send the signal on the buzzer and the LED so that uh, we will consider that as a output pins so to define any pin as output we can use this line pin mode pin name then output then LCD we are using LCD 16 by 2 so that that define LCD here then at the starting we have to print driver slip detection system on line number one this one and row number one uh, row number two this one so we are printing that message by using this command LCD print then digital write buzzer pin low, low and digital write LED pin to the low. So basically at the starting of program we have to turn off the buzzer also to turn off the LED. So this is the initial condition. So to turn off any LED we use uh, LED buzzer or LED, uh, any signal. We use digital write buzzer pin then low digital write LED pin to the low. So it will turn off the buzzer and LED. Okay. So after that there is a while loop. While loop. Inside while loop first we, ch we are checking here any data receiving from the python code or not so that python will send the data on the arduino by the serial terminal so we are checking here the serial available data is available or not so once the data is available then we have to read the data so serial dot read so this will read the data from the python so once the python detect the slip then uh, 
then python send the a command to the arduino so we are storing that command into sleep status now we are checking if the sleep status is equal to equal to a if the sleep status is equal to equal to a means sleep is detected then after that what we have to do in else part lcd clear we have to clear the lcd then we have to print the message please wake up then we have to turn on turn on the buzzer then we have to turn on the led to turn on the buzzer turn on the led there is again this line digital right buzzer pin to the high digital right led pin to the low then delay then we have to again turn off the led and turn off the buzzer then again we have to send the low low signal and some delay so let's say if the uh, slip is not it active driver is active so in that case the python program send the b value to the arduino so that b value will be check here sleep status is equal to b yes it is b then we have to send all okay drive safe on the lcd we have to turn off the buzzer and led so this is the complete idea behind this arduino code so here you can see in the python code there is one line here you can see if the slip is detected then we are, we are sending s dot write a so a we are sending from the python to the arduino same when drowsiness is detected then we are we are sending the a when active is detected means driver is active then we are sending the b so this is the idea behind this code so i again repeat if you want to run this project uh, to install all the library you have to watch all three videos first video is this one second video is this one and third video is this one then and then only you can able to run this project now we can see how to run this project so first point is you have to download these two files from my google drive link the google drive link given in the description so this file is nothing but the arduino you know software file and second file is nothing but the python code which detect the driver sleep or wake up okay so this is the first part okay so next part is you have to open this arduino software so how to install this arduino software i have already explained in my this video protease simulation accident and alcohol detection video so in this video you will find how to install this arduino software okay now open this software so i double click on this software then it will open okay now go to the file go to the open then go to the google drive link uh, software so this is the software file you can see uh, this one driver sleep detection arduino and inside this driver sleep detection system arduino and inside this this file you have to open so this file you can find out from my google drive link so once i click on open then this project will be open now next part is go to the tools and here you can see com port is 5 so for my arduino com port is 5 when i connected my arduino that arduino com port is 5 uh, again you have to go to the board first check arduino you know is selected here or not then check the com port what is your com port now com port is 5 please note that this com port is 5 now go to the python so open this python ideally okay once the python open go to the file then click on open then here you can go to the downloaded folder again so this is my downloaded folder uh, so this is my downloaded folder now you can open this file driver uh, drawiness detector master then open the .py file so once you open that file you can see comport 5 i have selected here because uh, my arduino comport is 5 in case if your comport is another one you can change this number to any one like uh, if in your case if it is one then you can give com one here so in my case it is com 5 so that i have given com 5 now next part is here cv2 video capture here you can see one number i have given here so it is uh, it is depend upon your uh, your camera configuration so if you are using the usb camera uh, then you can use one number and if you are using the laptop camera then you can give zero zero number and if uh, zero it's not work in your case then you can give minus one number so this is the part you can change this number and you can try so i am using the usb camera so I, I am giving the one number here okay after that what you have to do just click on this upload button on the arduino software so once you click on this upload button the software gets uploaded into the arduino okay now next part is open this python program and just click on this run and run module and wait for one to two minutes it will load your camera so once the camera load you can see the image at the below here so wait for one to two minutes 
okay now you can see camera is loaded you can see this frame so i will open this frame now it is active and you can see on the lcd drive shape all okay that message is printed there so once i close my eyes then it will detect the sleep that means perfectly we run the project uh, and you can also follow this step and you can run your project